CF Moto News, CF Moto Racing Team became Phoenix Rally Champions 2022. Good news does not come alone. CF Moto embarked on the journey of Moto3 for motorcycles, meanwhile we are also stealing the spotlight from the Four Wheelers Championship. Please subscribe our channel, thank you for your support. On Saturday, March 19, 2022, a tense race in the Sahara Desert ended, with one and a half hundred crews at the starting line a week ago. In seven days at the increasingly popular Phoenix Rally, participants had to overcome not only difficult speed stages that stretched through dunes and difficult terrain, but also a strong sandstorm that lasted for several days. Due to this storm the organizers even changed the route for one day. From the very first days, the riders of CF Moto Racing Team showed a victorious pace. Both men did not hide their worries about the reliability of the equipment before the start, as it was equipped with some suspension and engine components that had not been tested under extreme conditions before. After a week of intense racing, the team was pleased that the equipment withstood the best possible. The CF Moto Force 1000 ATVs helped them take first and second places. Both athletes participated in the Phoenix Rally for the second time. Difficult route to the last kilometer. Taking fourth place in last year's rally, this year on Tongas Kanapkin has climbed to the highest place in the ATV standings. After last day of the rally, during which he secured the title of champion, the athlete did not hide his fatigue and joy. The last, seventh day of the rally was brutally hard and hot. We gave our best and finished first again. It feels wonderful. Adomis Gansirius, who took second place last year, showed the best time among the ATVs on the last day of the rally and repeated his previous result, he took second place in the overall ATV standings. Third place was won by the Frenchman Nicolas Martinez, who was driving near the CF Moto racers during the whole rally. The last day was really hard and tense. I couldn't slow down over the entire 150 kilometers because I only had a two-minute lead over the nearest competitor. I caught up and overtook Antangas at 25th kilometer and drove the remaining distance first, said Adomis Gansirius after the finish. Both men shared that they are very happy with the result and thank the whole team that was around and helped to achieve it. They also send thanks to the partners and fans whose support was felt throughout the rally. Racers who have covered more than 1,200 sports kilometers without major incidents, said that the maximum scenario had been completed. According to them, next thing is evaluation of the equipment when returns home and preparation for the next starts. Next race is scheduled for June 2022 in Andalusia. It is always a great pleasure to see CF Moto Racer to make splendid achievements in the overseas market. We are looking forward for more incoming surprise. For more CF Moto related news with international subtitles please check our playlist. Link is available in the description of this video. Thank you for your support and subscription.